Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to have more fun with TrueNAS. Been a while since I've uh, done a video on TrueNAS and I wanted to take a look at TrueNAS scale. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take an existing TrueNAS core and we're going to try to upgrade it to TrueNAS scale. We'll see how that goes. Let's get started. All right. All right, here we go. Here is my TrueNAS core that I have. And it's a nice little Xeon processor with uh, 24 threads, uh, 42 gigs of RAM. And over here in the docs, we have TrueNAS upgrades. So migrating from core to scale. Scale, it can be done. And there are two ways to do it. Now, you can do it through a USB stick, ISO, or you can preserve your existing and do a, a, a custom. So we're going to come over this migration, migrating fro, from core. All right, so here is the migrating from core uh, documentation. Now, one of the things I do love about TrueNAS is their great documentation. So as you see here, there's migration methods. So migration methods, um, you can do the ISO or the manual update. We're going to try the manual update today because I don't want to stick a USB stick and all that in there to get it upgraded. So I would just like to go ahead and just boom, get it going. So we're going to skip this ISO one and screw on down. Now, before I do that, take a look at these red notes up here in this. So if you have a encrypted pool, you need to migrate off that encrypted pool before you do it. Caution. And uh, so also you got another one right here. Now remember, basically this is a one-way migration. So if you have uh, a core that you're migrating to scale, going back, probably not going to be an option unless you start all over, which, you know, you can. So, all right, let's scroll on down. We're going to skip through this. Now, if you want to do the ISO process to do the install over, it's here, it's documented, it's nice. But we're going to look more at this manual update method. We're going to start by downloading the manual update file. Okay, so we're going to do that. Here it is. No, thank you. I've already signed up. And we're going to download this scale, which I'm assuming, right? So let's go back over here. It says blah, 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 blah. Manual, up, download the manual update file. Manual update. Right here. Okay, so now, again, they're going to give you a warning because this is a little bit risky because, number one, you're, you're switching from a free BSD to Linux, and so you're really changing the entire under, underlying operating system. So this is, this is something. And we're going back to our documentation up here, and I think it says update to the latest version, basically. So if you notice, we are 13U2 and 13U2, and we are good there. So we're going to download this manual file. It's coming in nice and fast. All right. Now, that'll be just a second, and we'll just go ahead and pause this here while it does it. Okay, so it's downloaded. All right. So remember. You can use this checksum if you need to, to verify your download. Um, so let's go ahead and go ahead and go over here and go for the system updates. And then it's going to say click to install manual file. Install manual file. Now, the first thing it's going to do is want you to back that stuff up. Definitely do this. Okay. And then choose the file. So going back over here, you'll see a nice picture. And, of course, picture of what I just showed you. And then choose the file. Pick your file. All right, so we'll go back in here. We're going to click on the choose the file. We're going to go right here. There's my file. Update. Boom. Now, it's going to give you this pop-up. And it's going to say, migrations are still in development and can be risky. So just remember, 
Before you do this, look at those things that can't be migrated. Jails, plugins, tunables, um, encrypted pools, and some of these other things. So go ahead and read that. There's documents. We're going to hit confirm. And then cross your fingers because this is going to be a wild ride. Okay, so I had to choose a temporary storage location. So going back here, it didn't say anything about that in this. It did ask me there. So we're going to choose the, the tank operating system, the, the main pool for that. We're going to apply the update and uh, we'll check in when it gets done, right? No. So it looks like we got an error. And so we've got a whole bunch of garbled goop in here that doesn't really mean too much. Um, it looks like maybe there's some sort of problem creating the uh, file system. I don't know. So I looked around a little bit and see if I could find a solution for this. I found one article that said, hey, that uh, they had this problem. And then the next day they did it again and it fixed it. I don't know. Um, I tried this a couple times here to see if it would work uh, with no avail. So let me ask you this. What do you want me to do? I can do the, try to do the ISO install off the USB, or I can do a fresh install straight, um, or try to come back later and encrypt it. If you have any ideas, go ahead and shoot me a message. Uh, hit down in the comments. We'll see what you think. Um, this is an older machine, so we might just be having issues. At, uh, I'm using a SATA DOM on there, which is 16 gig. It's pretty old, so it could be some sort of issue with it. Um, it's really tough to say. So I will uh, see you next time, and I look forward to your comments and see what you think. And uh, we'll, we'll be back for the solution, assuming I come up with one, right? <laughs> see you next time.